Hello, today I'll introduce you to the latest addition to our Unidex series, the UX18 Broadcading Studio Console. This model offers a more affordable alternative compared to the previously showcased UX24. Just like the UX24, this new model is a compact digital IP console with all its connections built in on the rear panel. It allows you to mix up to 18 channels without compromising on connection flexibility. The Unidex UX18 features five microphone inputs, analog and digital line inputs and outputs, Unidex multipurpose inputs, and a an USB audio port, supporting 4x4 stereo I.O. Optionally, it can be equipped with networking audio, powered by Dante. A new feature introduced in the UX18 is the ability to group channels. There are four channels identified as groups. Each group can handle a submix of two or more channels. Let me explain with a practical case. Let's say we have five microphones, one is the host and the other four are for columnists or guests. I mix the guest mics in group A and handle them from the group fader. Why? Because this way, I free up four faders that I can use for other signals. Setting this up is very easy. On the channel screen, I assign the microphones 2, 3, 4, and 5 to group A. Okay? Now, if we look at group A, we will see that it shows us the controls of the four mics that we can mix on cream. The audio processes remain independent for each channel. I can listen to each one in pre-fade, turn it on or off. With the groups, you could have control of the 18 channels on the faders and manage the submixes on the screen. When I put the group on the air, what is sent is this submix over which I have global level control from the group fader. I can also assign a single channel to a group, which will behave like a regular channel. When we introduced the UX24, we also talked about a special type of input that allows you to input audio directly or through expansion adapters to handle different types of signals. But let's have past me remind you. The Unidex inputs are a special type of connection created by Solidine that allows for various signals to be input using very simple and economical external adapters without the need for LIP network devices. If, for example, we need more than four microphones, we connect these modules to the Unidex inputs and we're all set. In setups where the audio signals need to be distributed among multiple studios and devices, the solution would be to opt for an audio over IP network. Unidex can include a 16x16 16 16 Dante interface. Audio networking coexists with Unidex interfaces along with the conventional mixer inputs, providing great connection flexibility. However, in traditional setups, it's not always necessary to set up an audio over IP network when planning to install a digital console. It will be more expensive and complex. That is why we can use Unidex as a standalone mixer because, with its external adapters, it allows the modular addition of microphones, POTS lines, Bluetooth cell phones, computers and future options. UX18 uses the telco communications interface of UX24 but includes an internal Bluetooth module for directly connecting a mobile phone to the console. Let's recall how communications work in Unidex. The Unidex external adapters are managed from the console. This box allows me to connect a regular telephone line and link a mobile phone. I'll show you an example. I'm about to receive a call in. 3, 2, 1. I'm receiving the call through my phone. I could answer it from my phone, but we have the option to answer it from the console. So, I'll just answer. The call is on hold, the other person can hear me, but it's not on the air. To speak to them in talkback mode, I just press this button and speak through the talkback mic. Wait a moment, we'll be on the air shortly. To air the calling, just turn on the on air button and raise the fader.
We can also play WhatsApp audios through the console. I received an audio here. Let's hit play. Hola, muy bueno el video. ¿Me podrías explicar en detalle cómo es el tema de operación de las llamadas? Well, you can find a lot of information in our series of tutorials on YouTube. The UX18 handles two streaming sends with independent qualities and codecs. They are used to link with a transmission plant, other studios, or to upload audio to a public server. It also handles an incoming streaming, to receive audio from portable devices that transmits via RTP, streaming servers, or to directly download a public streaming. The audio processing on the inputs is basically the same as that offered by UX24. So, let's refresh our memory. And now it's time to talk about very cool features, the audio process and sound effects. The Unidex features processors on each of the inputs. Depending on the input class, we have different processes available. For example, on each microphone input we have a 4-band parametric EQ with low-pass and high-pass filters. Here's the EQ. Then we have compression, noise gate, and de -esser. You may be wondering what a de is. The de is for smoothing the sibilance. So listen when we activate it. Miren cómo funciona, es una maravilla. We can also use the computer connected via USB to process the voice signal. But before going over it again, let me tell you that there's a step-by-step -step tutorial where we explain how to set up VST plugins on the PC. You can find the link in the description. Now, let's remember how to easily access effects, like this echo. Sound effects such as echo, reverberation, modulators, are generated using the computer that is connected via USB, using VST plugins achieving special effects that will distinguish the radio station. The plugin receives audio from the console via USB and returns it with the effect. Ahí lo tenemos. Wow. Efecto echo. For this demo, I also have a vocoder configured. Let's listen. We're mixing the microphone with the vocoder. This is a real recording. As I said, there's no trick. Simply, there's no delay. Did you hear it? It's not fake. All right, we can do this thanks to the USB technology implemented by Unidex, which allows us to send and receive in real time. The UX18 maintains the scene and user scheme of the larger model. The settings of the processes, the assignment of inputs to the channels, and the channel configuration are saved in the scenes. There are 12 scenes that allows, for example, to quickly change the layout of all or some of the channels, to switch audio sources, or to move channels from the screen to the faders. On the screen, scenes, you can also change the user profile. There are three user profiles or hierarchies. The highest hierarchy is password protected and has full control, you can configure the console to start up with the basic user. Then access is restricted because to move to any of the other users you will need the password. UX18 can be accessed from a networked computer by entering the console's IP address in a browser. This way you can configure and control, remotely, all mixers' features. If you had a new studio away from the main studio, the web control panel enables you to operate it virtually, without the need to install a second mixer. So far, I've given you a summary of the most important features of the UX18. Of course there are more features, let me tell you about three important advantages. 1. You have automatic software updates. The console connected to the internet downloads the update and notifies you to install it at the most convenient time. 2. It handles GPIO signals that allow you to remotely control console actions or program signals to control external devices. 
For example, to trigger a commercial break when activating a computer channel, or to switch cameras according to active microphones. 3. Solidine offers a 5-year written warranty for any failure or problem in any of its components. I invite you to follow the news and educational videos about the Solidine's Unidex series. Follow us on YouTube, and stay updated.